We'll see you then. Thanks, Paul. The state superintendent is making a priority to train California teachers on discussing racism and bias with students this upcoming school year. KPI X5's Maria Medina is in San Jose, where she found some parents and some kids who are already having that discussion. As protests unfolded here in the Bay Area after George Floyd's death, thousands took to the streets, including families with kids. Black Lives Matter! Alofa Clark may be one of the smallest demonstrators among this crowd in downtown San Jose, but her voice... No peace! No peace! is just as strong as theirs, and she's not scared to use it. She wanted me to know she is not six, but... Six and a half. Alofa stood by her mother's side every day, protesting against police brutality and racism. Tina Ina says there are messages her daughter shouldn't wait to hear. With her skin color and being half black, that her life matters. This is an important time to talk about bias talk about race. This week, State Superintendent Tony Thurman announced plans to train teachers and staff on how to engage in discussions on racism and bias this upcoming school year and include government agencies and law enforcement in the conversation. We know that our children, they, they learn racism. And so that means that we cannot focus just exclusively on the education sector, but we have to brought into every sector because bias exists in every sector. It's so important. It's so important. Andrea Kusinovich is not only a parent who brought her daughters to today's demonstration, but also a teacher. As a teacher, we are part of some of these systems that have historically um, left some students behind, and we really need to support and uplift our black students and our, our students of color. The work is so important. For now, these parents aren't waiting to teach these life lessons in a classroom. And silence is complicity and it's so important that educators are having those conversations with their students and that parents are having conversations with their kids. And the state superintendent also said that some students are experiencing trauma after George Floyd's death and called on counseling groups and agencies to help out now. In San Jose, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.